One of the major complication of diabetic is the renal failure, diabetic kidney disease. So how would you prevent that? For that you need to have a strict glycemic control and then you need to visit uh, <clears throat> a nephrologist once a year to get evaluated for renal function test. For example, blood urea, serum creatinine, uh, protein loss in the urine, uric acid and the electrolyte levels and uh, once a year follow up of these renal function tests and then proteinuria in the urine, urine will help us in prevention of kidney disease. For example, if the patient has high proteinuria, you need to cut down on the intake of protein so that the further damage of the kidney can be prevented. And then uh, results have shown that ARBs and AC inhibitors are well used and significantly cut down on diabetic kidney disease. disease. The role of ARBs and AC inhibitors is they reduce the proteinuria in the urine. In fact, if the proteinuria has cut down, the damage to the kidney will be very less. So strict glycemic control, follow up with the nephrologist yearly once, follow up with the routine blood investigations of urea, creatinine in um, complete urine examination annually and uh, maintaining your blood pressure with ARBs and AC inhibitors will help us to preventing the damage of the kidney. Diabetes mellitus is a complex set of disorder characterized by persistent hyperglycemia. There are two most common forms of diabetes, type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Both are caused by a combination of genetic and environmental risk factors. However, there are rare forms of uh, diabetes which is maturity, on maturity onset diabetes mellitus and that is secondary to the mitochondrial DNA defects or mutations. So genetic factors make some people more vulnerable to diabetes but the genetic cause for diabetes is also affected by the diet, lifestyle and environment. So you inherit a predisposition to the disease then something in your environment triggers it. So environmental trigger has also has a major role in inheritance or predisposition of diabetes. So is type 1 diabetes hereditary? People with family history of type 1 diabetes do have a slightly higher risk of developing the condition. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease which means that it causes the body's immune system to attack its healthy cells. It is often called as juvenile diabetic mellitus. People who develop type 1 diabetes may have autoimmune antibodies in their blood for many years but they show symptoms later as the auto antibodies needs to get activated. So the genetic cause for diabetes is also affected by the environmental risk in type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is also an hereditary disorder but the pre genetic predisposition and then autoimmune activity is comparatively less in type 2 diabetes. The major factors are insulin resistance which means when your body doesn't utilize as much as insulin as it should. So how, will, how the family will get involved in adhering the treatment regimens of diabetes mellitus? Families have a key role to play in addressing the modifiable risk factors uh, for type 2 diabetes. Risk factors such as obesity, uh, lifestyle modification, uh, quitting smoking and alcohol, uh, regular exercise and uh, 
adequate healthy diet intake all these things will have a huge impact on diabetes and if you modify these risk factors the treatment regimen adherence will be uh, in a proper way and the diabetic will be under good control for example if you take obesity as the strongest modifiable risk factor for type 2 diabetes everyone in the family must be encouraged to maintain healthy body weight and waist size waist size is very important bmi more than 25 has a huge role to play as the risk factor of diabetes so weight size and weight reduction should be have a great great given great importance adults with diabetes and complications from diabetes depend on the support of family for assistance in managing their condition and contributes to their quality of life families may have to redistribute their responsibilities they should modify their daily routines and renegotiate family roles due to diabetes it is seen that low level of conflicts high levels of cohesion and organization good organization patterns are associated with better diabetes treatment regimen adherence the role played by a family for a diabetic patient includes fighting against depression enhancing motivation dietary habit nutrition limiting complications and disability diabetes can be especially hard on women women with diabetes are also more likely to have a heart attack at younger age than women without diabetes diabetes increases the risk of heart disease which is the most common complication of diabetes by four times in women but only two times in men and women have worse outcomes of after a heart attack women are also at higher risk of other diabetic related complications such as blindness kidney disease and depression the other entity is diabetes in pregnancy which i will be dealing in another few moments and then uh, the hi- other higher risk for uh, diabetes are blindness depression and then kidney disease and then neuropathy now let's come and uh, comment about few things about uh, diabetes and pregnancy some women develop diabetes for the first time when they become pregnant this is called as gestational diabetes other women have diabetes before they get pregnant if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes you can have a healthy pregnancy if you have a diabetes and you want to have a baby you need to plan ahead before you get pregnant So women who have diabetes before pregnancy need to take certain steps to ensure you have a safe pregnancy. Talk to your doctor before you get pregnant. And then uh, keeping blood sugar levels under control is very important because high blood sugar levels can ca- harm the fetus and may result in congenital abnormalities. So care to be taken after birth with gestational diabetes is uh, you have to sh- check your blood sugar levels regularly medical follow up for all women with gestational diabetes is very important in 2 to 3% of uh, women may continue to have diabetes even after delivery diabetes can be especially hard on women women with diabetes are also more likely to have a heart attack at younger age than women without diabetes diabetes increases the risk of heart disease the most common complication of diabetes is coronary artery disease by about four times in women but only about two times in women so the risk factor is four times higher in women than men and women have more worse outcomes after a heart attack women are also at higher risk of other diabetes related complications such as blindness kidney disease and depression and the other very important uh, aspect of diabetes is diabetes in pregnant women 
can affect both mother and their unborn children. So, uh, diabetes can cause difficulties during pregnancy such as miscarriage or a baby born with a birth defects, congenital birth defects. How the diabetes is different uh, in women when compared to men? So, diabetes affects women and men in almost equal numbers. However, diabetes affects women differently than men compared with uh, uh, men with diabetes. A higher risk for heart disease, heart disease is most common complication of diabetes. Lower survival rates and poor quality of life after heart attack due to diabetes. What kind of diet is important for a diabetic patient? Food has a direct effect on blood glucose levels. Certain foods raises blood glucose more than others. An important part of managing diabetes is knowing what and how much to eat, following an eating plan that fits your lifestyle while helping to control blood glucose levels. Three main nutrients found in foods are carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Carbs are starches, sugar and fiber in foods such as grains, fruits, vegetables, milk products and sweets. They raise blood glucose faster and higher than other nutrients in foods. Proteins and fats, knowing what food contains carbohydrates and the amount of carbohydrates in a meal helps in blood glucose control. Choosing carbohydrates from healthy sources like vegetables, fruits and whole grains must be preferred over carbohydrates from sources with added sugars, salt and fat. Coming to proteins which are very necessary part of balanced diet and keep you from feeling hungry. They do not directly raise uh, your glucose like carbohydrates. However, to prevent weight gain use proportion, proportionate control with proteins in people with type 2 diabetes. Protein makes insulin work very faster. So it may be a not good idea to treat low blood sugar with protein shakes or any mixes. Coming to fats. Fats are necessary part of balanced diet. Especially healthy fats from fatty fish, nuts and seeds. They do not raise blood glucose but are in high calories and cause weight gain. Eat a variety of nutrient rich food in each meal including healthy fat, lean meats or proteins, whole grains low fat dairy at proportionate sizes. I will be speaking about diabetic emergencies today. So, insulin being the major treatment choice for diabetes, the incidence of too much or too little insulin is very common in diabetes and it can also be a life-threatening occurrence. Too much insulin can cause uh, low blood glucose which you label it as hypoglycemia and which can also lead to insulin shock. Insufficient insulin can cause blood glucose to become too high, you label it as hyperglycemia which can cause diabetic coma. So reviewing signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia versus hyperglycemia helps remove the challenge of determining if the patient's blood sugar is too low or too high. So if the patient comes with low sugar levels, the person can collapse. Low sugar levels is blood glucose of less than 70 mg per deciliter. So what you have to do now is important. Give them something sugary which will help raise their blood sugar levels and improve their bodily function. Avoid giving them a diet drink as it won't have any sugar in it and it will not help them. In case the person still doesn't feel good, it is better to consult a doctor for treatment. The rule of 15 is commonly used as a guideline to treat hypoglycemia after checking your blood glucose levels. Consume 15 grams of carbohydrate, wait for about 15 minutes then recheck your blood glucose level if your blood glucose is still low consume another 15 grams of carbohydrate and recheck 15 minutes later 15 grams of carbohydrate is equal to 3 to 4 glucose tablet 
और वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ हनी और वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ शुगर और फाइव स्मॉल शुगर क्यूब्स 